Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here with me and that you're still sticking around. I just love it. Um, today we're going to be making a noodle board. So if you haven't seen a noodle board, basically it's this big old board or this is a solid board that I'm making, but I have made some where you put slats together and it just looks really rustic and almost like a farmhouse. That's what my goal w was for this one was to go for like a farmhousey distressed barn wood look. So a noodle board is just a big board that lays over your stove cover, um, stove top, just to kind of keep the dust and dirt out and just to look nice. You can also use them for serving trays or cutting boards. This is just merely going to be a stove cover. So that's what we're making today. So I'm taking this Rust-Oleum Aqua Color Stain and I'm just pouring it on my board. I know that's not really the technical way you should be doing this, but that's just how I do it and it worked just fine. So I'm going to pour this on there and then I'm going to let it sit for just a few minutes and then I'm going to wipe off the excess and you'll start to see that wood grain come through. Okay, so now I'm wiping off the excess and you can start to see that wood grain that I was talking about coming through. Next, I'm going to take this Waverly chalk paint in the color Elephant, so it's like a dark gray, and I'm just going to kind of try to dry brush it on here, and I'm just doing um, brush strokes on here just to kind of make it look weathered and distressed and like actual wood. So once I got this first layer on here, it was pretty much dry by the time I got to the edge over here. I'm just taking some sandpaper and I'm going to sand all of this down. It's going to help to blend it in, to um, take a lot of the color down a notch. And then from that point on, you can choose to do another layer of the brush strokes or you can choose to leave it like this. I, however, um, needed to fill in some spots, so I went ahead after this was all sanded, I did another layer of that gray on there, and then I would I will sand it down again, and you'll see that here in a few minutes. As you can see, I've got Mommy's little helper here. He is really trying to help me paint this board. So this is just going to be my second layer of the gray brush strokes that I'm putting on here. And I'm really just going in and filling in some of the bare spots that I wanted covered. Um, I didn't really go over the whole board this time like I did in the first layer. I just kind of filled in. All right, and once again, we're going to sand this down and blend it all in, and that is all I did was just the two layers of the gray. So after I got all that sanded how I wanted it and distressed, I took a clean cloth and just wiped all the dust off. This is a stencil I made for my Cricut. It's on sticky vinyl. I just cut it out on there and put it on here, laid it down, and then I'm taking some white, just plain white, of the Waverly chalk paint, and I'm just painting in the stencils. I ended up doing two coats of this, 
and by the time I got to the end of the first coat where I had started on the first coat was already dry so I just continued and went right back over it and then you will see me here in a minute pulling all this vinyl off and I did that while the paint was still kind of wet like I said it dries really fast so by the time I got done parts of it had already dried but I did end up just pulling it off while some of it was still wet As always, I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel if you like the content that I'm putting out and if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see me do or make or just record in general, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it so far and if you are still sticking around to watch it. Um, and share this with your family and with your friends. I would love to have my channel grow and for you to be a part of this YouTube family. Okay, so this is what it looks like once all the vinyl is taken off. If there's some spots that you need to go in and kind of touch up, you can do that with a very fine um, paintbrush. If not, then this is the next step that I did. I wanted it to be, again, distressed and not so bright and vibrant. So I just took some sandpaper. It doesn't really matter the grit. Um, if you use a heavier grit, just do lighter sanding. Uh, I can't even remember what this one was, but I'm just going over all of the white that I just put on there and just really giving it the distressed look as I did with the rest of the board. So now I'm just taking another dry clean cloth and just wiping all the dust off of this after I get done sanding and when I zoom in here in just a second you're going to be able to see the distressed look that sanding on the white gave this. Okay so we need knobs or handles for our noodle boards. That'll just make it easier to pick up and transfer. Um, these were some that I had. They're just normal wooden knobs. And I'm just taking that gray Waverly chalk paint again and I'm going to do two coats of this gray and then you're going to see me here in a few minutes do one coat of just the plain white Waverly chalk paint.
find a face that I would recognize and replay the memory of you. It's been hard, you know I wanted to stay good, so good. There was no I am just taking, I think this was 220 grit sandpaper and just going over this white to distress it is going to make that gray shine through and in some spots it's even going to make the original wood color come through and that's just going to match our board, the distressed look. Okay, so here I'm showing you two different options on how to seal this. I ended up using the chalk paint again in the matte clear. Um, I had the Mod Podge out there to give it a glossy finish after I put this on there, but I ended up not even having any. So all I did was two coats of this chalk paint matte clear. Um, I did the knobs, the front of the board, and the back of the board. You're not going to see me do the back of the board, but it was done. So now it's time to attach the knobs and we are just pre-drilling some holes in here just so the wood doesn't split and crack. I would hate for this whole board to be ruined right here at the very end. So on each side we're just pre-drilling these holes and then we're going to attach the knobs. Okay guys, here it is. Here's the finished product sitting on my stove top. It fits perfectly. I forgot to mention that. This board is about, I think it's like a 21 by 29, I think. It's just a standard stove top um, dimension. Um, and in the very beginning of the video, I didn't show this, but I actually did sand the board down before I started painting. So I do want to mention that. Sand the board down before you start painting or your slats, however you're going to make this and put this together. But if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications bell on so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure you leave me a comment down below and like this video, share it with your family and friends. I appreciate you guys so, so very much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!